Hello and welcome Scorpio. This is your general reading for the month of July 2023 with myself Thomas Yanak. You are watching Thomas's Tower Readings. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Now, Scorpio, what we do here, we will divide the reading into sections because it's also it's a bit easier to follow it all. Um, we will look at the overall energy for the month of July 2023 for your very sign before we then go into your emotional core, see if there's love coming in, maybe there's trauma that needs to heal, that kind of stuff. Before we then lastly look at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of July 2023. So, let's have a look. Hey Molly. Just talking to my cat, which you, which you can't see. I think you can only see the tail here. Okay, now, when it comes to the overall energy for the sign of Scorpio, you have the red wolf and the frog. <clears throat> you're trying to be in control, you're trying to make everything work, and yet the red wolf is also known as the uh, Ethiopian wolf, which means he lives in the desert, where there's less opportunities, less options. Just relax. Things are the way they are. Should you feel a bit burdened, nothing ever stays the same. All the guides are saying is, don't push yourself too much. Don't think that you're failing somewhere or anywhere, because you're not. Um, following on from the wolf, you have the frog. The frog is an amphibian, which means you can live on land and on water. So the frog is telling you um, to understand this. You will just be fine, no matter what life throws at you uh, at this point in time. You will just be fine. Okay. So um, this is about internalizing that you actually have survived all your all your bad days <laughs> so far, and so you know that this is just one of many challenges that you will overcome. Okay, so let's look at the uh, emotional core now for the sign of Scorpio. Like I said, you are watching Thomas's Tower readings. Please like, subscribe and share. Sorry, boy. Oh no. Oh no. Wow. So again, you have another wolf here. So again, being in charge, being in control um, is what you're sort of trying to do to protect yourself. When it comes to your emotional core, your emotions, how you're truly feeling, and I'm getting this um, needing to um, to heal from a bit of a blow, that makes sense, right? Um, so whatever happened to you emotionally uh, more in more recent times is what I'm getting. Um, just understand, you have to literally let this run through your system. You know, you you are not expected to behave in a specific way. You're not expected to move on at a specific speed. The wolf is a pack animal, you run your own pack, even when you feel I'm not running it well. Therefore, with your emotions, just trust, you know, allow yourself to feel all that you feel, don't hide it, you know, this way you get it out of your system quicker. Because you also have the parrot <clears throat> as, the un as the animal that follows the wolf here. And it really is about conveying that everything is sort of fine, you know, mimicking things. Don't do this to yourself. When you're not well, should you really feel I'm going through a lot of shit, uh, then go through it, you know? So it would not be the time to just start over, if that makes sense. You probably need a bit more time to let things run through your system. So should you are manifesting a new relationship or are, are in a relationship, it's not that it has to go onto the back burner, but this month you should be the priority of all things, not the relationship, if that makes sense, right? So. Um, should you notice that you're doing and giving a lot in a relationship, um, which is not necessarily wrong, if that makes sense, um, the moment it starts draining you, it's not worth it, right? So tell your partner, you know, to um, to prioritize you this month. And should you manifest a relationship, um, same applies, you know, say that, you know, I deserve better, so bloody send me better, <laughs> if that makes sense. So ultimately for Scorpio, there is some healing that needs to uh, run through your system. You already have made progress. It's already going, if that makes sense. Um, but it's a matter of keeping going. Okay. So then finally, let's look at the um, opportunities as they present themselves to you 
in the month of July 2023 for the sign of Scorpio. Now you have the brown bear and the mountain goat. The brown bear is all about, again, healing. But what the guides are saying is, whatever you're trying to do now, don't force anything, don't rush into anything, and don't just distract yourself so that you don't have to go through the shit you have to go through. Really, really important. Right? Because there is the energy here of, of Scorpios doing a bit much, you know, sort of forcing to have great days, if that makes sense. And, you know, you should just go with the flow. Therefore, opportunities are, are not really that forthcoming at all because following on from the bear, you have the mountain goat. And the mountain goat is saying, whatever it is you're doing, you either now want to manifest a promotion, a, um, a moving on from things, a getting better, if that makes sense. So the point here is there's, this is there's the energy of progression here. And with the mountain goat, the mountain goat is saying it's going to be a journey. Even if someone said tomorrow, yeah, you can have that job, doesn't mean you're fully ready. It's going to be a journey. And so what you should manifest is when it comes to anything to do with regards to what sustains you financially, is to make sure that, 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 that you call the shots. Again, self-employment comes to mind, seems to be the best thing that you can do Scorpios anyway, because your sign has the strongest fight or flight response to anything. So the moment you feel under pressure, you either kick someone's head in or you run away. So, so balancing um, life is not necessarily a big strength of uh, many Scorpios, if that makes sense, right? Uh, ultimately, you got this when you understand this is a bit of a journey. Don't rush anything um, and understand that what you shouldn't be doing is to allow yourself or others to keep you in one space, one spot. You're not progressing here. It's ultimately not for you. Um, so should you be in a, in a position where you are uh, working as a support um, to someone else, um, it's time to have a look at what else could I be doing, even if you don't want to leave that position, right? What else can I be doing? Where can I have a bit more impact rather than just being there um, if someone else needs me? In any case, Scorpios, that was your um, rather fast, rather short, um, general reading for the month of July 2023 with myself, Thomas Janak. Please like, subscribe and share. And I urge you to uh, watch the um, July 2023 uh, full moon reading because we have um, the second of four um, super moons. So the energy of the full moon affects all signs um, much stronger this month. So it's always good to be clued in. You find this on this channel. All you need to do is, is to um, uh, like and subscribe. And I see you all next month. Bye bye.